good morning students let us carry on with our study of the play the apple cart by george bernard shaw we left off at the point where <coughs> the king manages to convince the prime minister proteus to return to the meeting the king returns with proteus who looks glum means who looks sad all rise and the two take their seats again magnus very grave very seriously the prime minister has been good enough to pursue the discussion with me in private to a point at which the issue is now clear that is pursue means continue that he was kind enough to continue with the discussion with me in private private means when we it was just the two of us alone at which the issue is now clear it is all misunderstandings have been cleared between us if i do not accept the ultimatum i shall receive your resignation and his in other words the cabinet will step down they will all resign and the country will learn from his explanatory speech in the house of commons that it has to choose between cabinet government means government of of many people and monarchical government means government of one the public has to decide an issue on which i frankly say that i should be very sorry to win that is if i win this argument or this issue this problem then i will not be happy at all as i cannot carry on without the support of a body of ministers whose existence gives the english people a sensation of self government uh, existence means state of being alive or real that is whose presence in other words makes the english people feel uh, as if they are governing themselves amanda again begins to laugh splutters crassius whispers shut up will you this is a serious discussion and amanda is busy laughing at something basically amanda has a very quirky sense of humor so crassius shuts her up magnus continues naturally i want to avert a conflict in which success would damage me and failure disable me now avert meaning avoid and conflict means clash or disagreement i don't want to have a disagreement with my cabinet where if i win then it would bad damage me and if i fail it will disable me meaning it would make me handicapped in order in other words i won't be able to function by myself but you tell me that i can do so only by signing pledges which would make me a mere lord chamberlain that is you are telling me that if i can't sign or won't sign the ultimatum then it would or rather if i do sign the ultimatum pledge means here uh, a solemn promise which would make me a mere mere meaning only a lord chamberlain now lord chamberlain is a uk official uk official in charge of the in charge of the royal household the royal household uh, another meaning is formally formally he would be the licensor the licensor l i c e n s e r licensor in other words one who gives license of dramas or plays this means that if anybody wanted to stage a play or a drama in a theater 
then they would have to take a license for it just as uh, uh, anybody makes a film and he wants to relay the film in the country in India then he has to take a license something like that so in other words if I sign the ultimatum I will be reduced my authority my power would be reduced to that of a Lord Chamberlain without even the despotism which he exercises over the theatre but even the Lord Chamberlain has more powers <clears throat> he is the absolute authority over the theatre I won't even have that much of power okay I should sink below the level of the meanest of my subjects mean its meaning the lowest by signing the ultimatum I will reduce my position to the lowest or the poorest of my subjects my sole privilege my only special right being that of being shot at when some victim of misgovernment resorts to assassination to avenge himself and my only right will be to be killed shot at means to be killed when some victim of misgovernment misgovernment means inefficient or dishonest government resorts to resorts to means does something bad as the only choice as he has no choice resorts to assassination means killing to avenge himself when somebody who has been the victim of the inefficiency of the year of the government and he takes out his anger and frustration on the king and I may get killed how am I to defend myself how will I defend myself in that situation you are many you are many in number I oppose you single-handedly I face you all alone there was a time when the king could depend on the support of the aristocracy and the cultivated bourgeois now aristocracy means people of the highest social class and cultivated bourgeois means those who have risen those who have risen from lower social position from lower social position to the middle class bourgeois means middle class it's a French term today there is not a single aristocrat left in politics not a single member of the professions not a single leading personage in big business or finance um, leading personage means important or famous people and professions means people who have skilled jobs who have been who are skilled or who have had a training in some job none of them join politics they are richer than ever more powerful than ever and more ab able and better educated than than ever than ever means than earlier for the first time perhaps but not one of them will touch this drudgery of government this boring hard work of running a government this public work that never ends because we cannot finish one job without creating 10 fresh ones now that is what government is about they fin complete one um, scheme just come yojana kehte hain and 10 other schemes crop up or come up we get no thanks for it because 99 hundreds of it is unknown to the people in other words the public does not see how the government machinery works they don't get to know the behind the scenes reality so it is unknown to the people and the remaining hundred is resented by them as an invasion of their liberty or an increase in their taxation now resented means when somebody is bitter or angry when you think that something is unfair 
so they resent by them as an invasion invasion means and here the word them is used for the public hmm? and invasion means attack of their liberty or freedom or an increase in their taxation it wears out the strongest man this continuous struggle with the public wears out means it tires out it exhausts even the strongest man and even the strongest woman in 5 or 6 years it slows down to nothing when we are fresh from our holidays and best able to bear it bear it means endure it that is when we return from some holiday and we have energized ourselves rejuvenated ourselves and we are best able to endure or bear it yet we are in no mood to work so it slows down to nothing and rises in an overwhelming wave through some unforeseen catastrophe when we are on the verge of a nervous breakdown from overwork and fit for rest and sleep only okay meanings first mm. rises in an overwhelming wave overwhelming means extremely strong so as not to know how to react wave through some unforeseen catastrophe unforeseen unexpected and catastrophe means sudden disaster because of some does unexpected sudden disaster something happens when we are on the verge of a nervous breakdown nervous breakdown means great suffering or damage verge means very near to or about to collapse of a nervous breakdown and breakdown means temporarily when one is unable to function when one is unable to function properly due to due to great stress so there is breakdown from overwork and we are fit for rest and sleep only when we should be resting only in other words in either situation running the country or running the government is an overwhelmingly tedious or difficult task and this drudgery drudgery means this hard dull work remember is a sweated trade sweated trade manual work where wages are very low long hours and the working conditions are very poor long hours poor conditions very low wages the only one now left in this country everybody else is highly paid they are earning a huge salary it is only we who are running the country uh, who it for us it is like a sweated trade we don't get a very good salary we have long working hours very poor conditions to work in and it is hard manual labor my civil list leaves me a poor man among multimillionaires uh, civil list means in uk a fixed annual allowance fixed annual allowance which is voted by parliament which is voted by parliament for the ruler that is he is given a fixed salary in a way and this is decided by the parliament for the king or for the tutorial head of the government so it leaves me a poor man among multimillionaires that is i am surrounded by rich people and as compared to them although i am their king and they are my subjects i am the poor man among multi millionaires people who are very rich 
your salaries can be earned 10 times over in the city 10 times over means 10 times more in the city by anyone with outstanding organization or administrative ability outstanding meaning excellent organization or if you have very good administrative abilities you can earn 10 times more than i do history tells us that the first lord chancellor who abandoned the wool sack for the city boardroom struck the nation with amazement okay again meanings first uh, lord chancellor in uk again so history tells us that the first lord chancellor the lord chancellor in uk he is was the administrative officer of the royal household and he also looked after the courts when the lord chancellor who abandoned abandoned means gave up the wool sack for the city boardroom now um, it is also the seat of the wool sack means seat of the speaker in the house of lords so he gave up his seat for the city boardroom and boardroom means group of group of people who manage a company in other words a businessman he turned into a businessman he struck the nation with amazement people were shocked today the nation would be equally amazed if a man of his ability thought it worth his while to prefer the wool sack even to the stool of an office boy as a jumping off place for his ambition okay uh, if a man of his ability thought it worth his while means considered it more paying or more lucrative l u c r a t i v e more paying or more lucrative thought it worth his while considered it more paying why to prefer the worth his while to prefer the wool sack even to the stool of an office boy stool means the seat of a peon uh, hindi mein hum jisko chaprasi kehte hain why because it would give him a chance as a jumping off place for his ambition jumping off place means point from which a new undertaking is begun point from which a new undertaking is begun our work is no longer even respected our work means the running of the government is not respected anymore it is looked down on by our men by our men of genius looked down upon means it is considered as inferior by our men of genius means by our able or skilled persons as dirty work what great actor would exchange his stage that is do you think any great act actor would leave the stage where he gets so much of attention from the public and come and join politics no he would not what great barrister his court barrister means lawyer would any great lawyer leave his law and come and join the government no what great preacher his pulpit preacher means the priest and pulpit is a raised platform in a church from where the the priest can deliver his sermon or address the congregation congregation means the people who come to attend a ceremony or a mass at in the church for the squalor of the political arena squalor means extremely dirty and unpleasant situation of the political arena arena means stadium in which we have to struggle with foolish factions factions are small groups who are dissenting who are constantly uh, disagreeing or fighting among themselves and these small groups are within a larger group hum jisko hindi mein samuday kehte hain that in english is factions 
in parliament and with ignorant voters in the constituencies that is when the situation in politics is so bad it is so dirty why would anybody want to leave their comfortable jobs and come and join politics the scientists will have nothing to do with us for the atmosphere of politics is not the atmosphere of science even political science the science by which civilization must live or die is busy explaining the past while we have to grapple <clears throat> with the present grapple means while we have to face or deal with or fight with the present it leaves the ground before our feet in black darkness that is we have no guidance we cannot see our way ahead while it lights up every corner of the landscape behind us in other words all our past mistakes or blunders are exposed all the talent and genius of the country is bought up by the flood of un uh, by the flood of unearned money meaning with bribery everything is purchased through bribery on that poisoned wealth poison means where money which has not been earned legally earned and genius wealth talent and genius live far more luxuriously in the service of the rich than we in the service of the country in other words <clears throat> if something can be gained through interest from investment or property then why would anybody want to give up that luxury so that even the talent and genius of our country live far more luxuriously in greater comfort in a more expensive lifestyle in the service of the rich than we do in the service of our country politics once the center of attraction for ability public spirit and ambition center of attraction means which used to be the center of attraction has now become the refuge of a few fanciers of public speaking and party intrigue who find all the other avenues to distinction close to them either by the lack of practi practical ability their comparative proper poverty and lack of expectation these are very long sentences let's break them up in uh, and take the meanings first politics which once used to be the center of attraction for ability public spirit and ambition has now become the refuge refuge means the safeguard of a few fanciers safeguard means protection from danger and fanciers means people who consider themselves to be people who consider themselves to be public speakers and party intrigue means secret plans to do something bad who find all the other avenues means way to do or get something to distinction means to fame close to them that is when people find that they have no other way of becoming famous then they join politics and why do they not why will they not be able to get any fame because of their lack of practical ability their comparative poverty they are poor and lack of education they are illiterate or let me hasten to add let me be quick to add their hatred of oppression and injustice oppression means cru cruel treatment where there is no freedom and injustice and their contempt and their contempt for the chickeneries and false pretenses of commercialized professionalism contempt means disrespect disrespect chickeneries means use of deception use of deception <clears throat> meaning where 
you make somebody believe what is not true when you deceive somebody and false pretenses of commercialized professionalism commercialized means when something is done to get money only to make money in other words people who are illiterate or people who are poor or people who do not have practical ability only they join politics today so politics has become the arena for falsehood for deception and for disrespect history tells us of a gentleman statesman who declared that such people were not fit to govern this is a reference to please write down gentleman statesman stanley baldwin stanley s t a n l e y stanley baldwin b a l d w i n he was the british prime minister from 1867 to 1947 1867 to 1947 and from 1935 to 1937 he was the lord of the treasury he was also the prime minister of course he was also the lord of the treasury in other words the finance minister and 1924 to 1929 he was the leader of the house of commons a very popular prime minister who had a long innings in the government so he declared that such people were not fit to govern who people who cheat people who make false pretenses they are not fit to govern but within a year it was discovered that they could govern at least as well as anyone else could be persuaded to take on the job persuaded means made to do something then began that abandonment of politics means be people began leaving for what they were abandonment means when you leave what one is responsible for apni uh, apni zimmedariyon ko tyag dena that is abandonment of politics by the old governing class which has ended in all cabinets conservative no less than progressive being what were called in the days of that rash statesman labor cabinets <clears throat> conservative means following old ways that is everyone started leave, leaving politics whether it was those who followed the conservative way of thinking of politics or those with the progressive means those who were modern who wanted change being what were called in the days of that rash statesman uh, rash statesman means badly behaved this is again about uh, baldwin the working class do not misunderstand me i do not want the old governing class back the ruling class back i don't want them back it governed so selfishly that the people would have perished means they would have been destroyed if democracy had not swept it out of politics but evil as it was in many ways at least it stood above the tyranny of popular ignorance and popular poverty ah uh, it means the old governing style class although it was evil although it was bad but it was above the tyranny that is the total control of popular ignorance and popular poverty today only the king stands above that tyranny you are dangerously subject to it subject to it means affected by it even you are affected by it in spite of my urgings and remonstrances you have not yet dared to take command 
of our schools and put a stop to the inculcation upon our unfortunate children of superstitions and prejudices that stand like stone walls across the every across every forward path okay <clears throat> in spite of my urgings my strong request and remonstrances remonstrances means my protests and complaints you have not yet dared you means the cabinet has not yet dared to take command to take control of our schools and to put a stop to the inculcation inculcation means to fix certain beliefs or ideas in someone's mind upon your unfortunate children of superstitions that is belief without reason and prejudices means unreasonable feeling of dislike or distrust jisko hum hindi mein purvagraha kehte hain in other words the syllabus today is constructed in such a way that our poor children are taught everything that is wrong they are taught superstitions they are taught to prejudices that stand like stone walls across every forward path forward path means progress are you well advised in trying to reduce me to your own slavery to them is it sensible in other words if you make me sign the ultimatum and you reduce me to your own slavery you will turn me into a slave just like you are if i do not stand above them above them means those people who control the government today <clears throat> there is no longer any reason for my existence at all and why should i be king i stand for the future and the past means i represent both the past and the future for the pos- posterity that has no vote posterity means future without an elected government and the tradition means the past that never had any because there was only monarchy so there was no vote then there were no elections i stand for the great abstractions means ideas for conscience and virtue for the eternal against the expedient in other words i protect you from all these dangers Hmm? expedient means convenient when you do something only for the sake of convenience for the evolutionary appetite against the days gluttony evolutionary appetite means gradual growth when you eat little every day so that you can live longer as compared to eating a whole lot of food in one day out of greed for intellectual integrity for humanity for the rescue of industry from commercialism and of science from professionalism for everything that you desire as sincerely as i but which in you is held in leash by the press means you cannot do what you wish to do in order to make progress in the country because the press controls you whereas i have the freedom because i am above everybody else which can organize against you the ignorance and superstition that is the press is so powerful that it can turn the public against you and which public the public which is ignorant and which is full of superstition the timidity and credulity Tim- timidity means the fear the fearfulness and credulity means when you readily believe something the public is like that the gullibility and prudery gullibility means when one is easily persuaded to believe that something is true and prudery prudery means disapproval when one is easily shocked the hating and hunting instinct of the voting mob means the crowd the crowd if it hates somebody it will go after it and cast you down from par if you utter if you speak a word to alarm or displease the adventurers who have 
who have the press in their pockets. In other words, the press can turn the public against you. And if you force me to sign the ultimatum, you are pushing the nation towards ruin. I am the only means by which I can protect you and the country from all these dangers. Who have the press in their pockets because they own the press. Between you and that tyranny stands the throne. Means I protect you and the control of the press. I have no elections to fear. I am your only protection. I don't have to fear elections. I don't have to be afraid that if I lose the election, what will happen? And if any newspaper magnet dares to offend me, newspaper magnet, magnet means influential or powerful person, dares to annoy me, that magnet's fashionable wife and marriageable daughters will soon make him understand that the king's displeasure, displeasure means annoyance, is still a sentence of social death within the range of St. James Palace. Uh, sentence of social death means when you will no longer be accepted, will no longer be accepted. In fact, you will be rejected. You will be rejected by the society. By the society. Now, St. James Palace, this is the residence of the British King. The residence of the British King from 1697 to 1837. In other words, the wives, the women of that man's family will warn him that if he annoys the king, who him? The newspaper magnet, the, pow the powerful and rich owner of some press. He is warned by his own family that if you annoy the king, you will be excluded from all social functions at the palace. Think of the things you dare not do. Think of the things you dare not do. The persons you dare not offend means annoy. Well, a king with a little courage may tackle them for you. Means? With a little effort, he can deal with a difficult situation. Responsibilities which would break your backs may still be borne, means carried on a king's soldiers. But he must be a king. In other words, if you want the king to work effectively to run the government, rather to help you run the government, then he must have some level of freedom and mainly he must have the veto power, the power to say no to things, not a puppet. You would be responsible for a puppet. Aap jante hai, puppet means katputli. To katputli ko chalane ke liye haat chahiye. So if you turn me into a puppet, you will be responsible for it. So every wrong action that you commit afterwards, mujhe aap agar aap puppet bana denge, uske baad agar koi bhi galat kaam hua, so, puri zimmedari aap par hogi. Remember that. But while you continue to support me as a separate and independent estate of the realm, I am your scapegoat. Now, separate and independent estate of the realm means order of persons, order of persons, Regarded collectively, regarded collectively as part of the, as part of the body of politics, the body of politics of the country. 
of the country. I am your scapegoat. Scapegoat means one who is punished. One who is punished for things, for things that are not his fault, that are not his fault. The king is trying to say that I am your protection from public disfavor. If you commit one single wrong action, all the blame will be on you because you will take away all my powers. Today, I am your scapegoat. You can pin the blame on me. You get the credit of all our popular legislation while you put the odium of all our resistance to ignorant popular clamor on me. Now, credit means saying that something has been done well. Appreciation in other words. While you put the odium, odium means the general hatred due to one's actions. General hatred due to one's actions of all our resistance to ignorant popular clamor on me. That is, if any mistake is committed, it is pinned on me. When the public makes a lot of noise, you point the finger at me. I ask you before you play your last card and destroy me to consider where you will be without me. Think once, think twice, for your danger is not that I may defeat you, but that your success is certain if you insist. Rather, that your success is certain if you if you insist on turning me into a puppet then the danger is that you may succeed just now but ultimately you will fail so think about it we'll take a break here it's been a long discussion and we will continue in the next session thank you